Hi guys, this is 2020 astrological forecast and I would like to welcome you to the new era. In the first part of the video, I'm going to be talking about impact of astrological events, uh, which they will have on a global scale, on a global basis, you know, like for society and uh, for all of us all together. But in second part of the video, I'm going to break it down according to your zodiac sign. So stay tuned. Okay. You know, uh, year uh, 2020 uh, was really a long awaited year for everybody who is in this field. We were really wondering uh, what this year will actually bring because there are some overwhelming and massive events in the sky and uh, they will definitely impact or touch lives uh, of uh, us and, you know, I believe of the world shall we say now uh, first event uh, is very important and it's gonna be conjunction between Saturn and Pluto and uh, it will happen on January 12th and then it will repeat itself in 2021 so I believe whatever happens in uh, January 12th um, it will still need to be completed and only in 2021 we will be very much clear what is really going on here, okay? Now, uh, this conjunction is in the sign of Capricorn which uh, is really very heavy, right? Because, you know, Capricorn energy itself is very authoritative but uh, still if we combine Saturn and Pluto which are uh, really very powerful planets but uh, each of them is powerful in its own unique way uh, we will get probably some very interesting results now this conjunction happens only once in 32 or 38 years it, it depends but uh, you know, in past, if we look into the past, uh, we can definitely say that this conjunction was sort of responsible uh, for the events of World War One and World War Two. Typical endings and uh, beginnings are connected uh, to this conjunction. This conjunction is especially important for you if you have it in your own birth chart, as I do, for example. So then uh, you should definitely, I don't know, have, have your reading by astrologer because, you know, uh, you should really be clear of where this conjunction happens in which house uh, for you because it will be the most important area for you uh, during these upcoming years, okay? Now, uh, if we combine Saturn and Pluto, you know, Saturn is all about structure, having things done but also having things the same in a way you know Saturn really cling uh, to the old and to known and very much predictable things but Pluto is very much the opposite right Pluto is really very transformative energy Pluto craves changes and uh, you know for Pluto it is all about spiritual growth but um, again dark side always comes into play with Pluto now I really believe that uh, things uh, have to crash down first to be rebuilt or reborn again. So uh, one of the most common themes of this conjunction is that we really will be forced to let go of something. You know, uh, with this conjunction, obviously it depends on the house, but uh, uh, it is probably uh, like outgrown let's say parts of your personality or old patterns it can be very deep and psychological because we all cling to something right and you know in 2020 we will be a little bit forced to give it away whether we want or not because first we really need to have like space and only then new things can come into our life okay now, uh, you know, negative side of this aspect is uh, obviously very much connected uh, to abusing the power, you know, to crime and even to corruption and tyranny, right? Because uh, 
this aspect is really heavy or can be heavy if we sort of uh, mistreat it, right? So uh, definitely there can be increasement in corruption and in crime, you know, you might be, you personally may be dealing with uh, someone who is very authoritative and, uh, you know, you will sort of have to let go or, or walk away or something. But on more global scale, I believe that uh, there will be some authoritative figures who will try to force something into whole society, okay? Whatever it will be. So uh, this is really negative side, okay? So we better be careful, careful. On more positive note, uh, which is always good news, this uh, uh, conjunction is uh, one of those uh, things that can really bring us advanced quantum engineering, okay? New ways of using the power in its core and really things like this. So, uh, so uh, it can really be interesting and I believe that on a global scale uh, it will be all about power. How we use the power, who holds the power and uh, you know how can we definitely restructure even organizations, systems, politics because this is really heavy energy and on a global scale it can really mean some very meaningful and important and very much necessary events for all of us, for everybody, right? Now, on a more positive note, I would like to talk about another conjunction which will be happening. It is Jupiter conjunct Pluto in 2020 and uh, it will be in the sky on April 4th, June 20 and in November 12th. You know guys, uh, this conjunction uh, is the lucky one. If you have this conjunction in your birth chart, then congratulations because this is the conjunction which is responsible for all the great wealth in the world, okay? It, it is really aspect of great richness. So my prediction uh, would be that there will be really like enough financial resources in society and uh, it will be only up to us how we can use it and handle it, hopefully for greater good, right? Now, uh, speculative business can go very well uh, during this year because, you know, uh, sometimes there are really these inclinations that things can end up very well. And uh, if Pluto is involved, there is uh, still still a little bit of, you know, something that is not so, you know, right or something darker or something like underneath, a little bit secretive. So things like this can really work, okay? Third thing I would like to mention in this general forecast is Saturn conjunct Jupiter. It will be happening in the sign of Aquarius on December 21st. You know, this aspect is a bit contradictory, but, but uh, still we will benefit a lot. Now I would like to go a little bit, just a little bit back into history, because we already had glimpses of uh, what this can actually bring to us as to the society, because uh, in 1980s this conjunction happened in the sign of Libra, and, uh, you know, this was really beginning of, let's say, computers, uh, technologies and Google, right? So uh, this is really just the flavor what we can expect now. But it was really back then. But now, first, uh, I believe because, uh, you know, endings are necessary if we really want to welcome new energy. So with that Saturn involved, because Saturn will definitely finish the sign of Capricorn here and uh, we really have to get rid of, of some things. And in this case, I believe that uh, these will be things connected uh, to, let's say, heavy machinery, coal, oil, okay, or fossil fuels. So this will be definitely themes and only then we can incorporate or we can start uh, to incorporate uh, that, let's say, a bit crazy Aquarius energy, but I believe it will be for good because Aquarius energy is 
is really a uh, very free energy and uh, it is in my opinion the sign of aquarius is the sign which is all about society and very pro society oriented so uh you know doing this forecast it is really difficult to tell you exactly what will happen but i believe that with aquarius we can definitely expect some good things okay so so maybe there will be more like energy medicine driverless cars renewables okay and really uh things like that things that are you know uh, very very different but uh very welcoming okay okay guys this was general scale but i know that you are all waiting for your personal forecast so let's check your sign this is more personalized version of your yearly forecast for 2020 now, uh, year will start off, uh, as for everybody, with lunar eclipse uh, happening on January 12th and uh, it will happen in your 6th house. 6th house is really house of our work, of service, it is very much house of health as well, but it is, in my opinion, house of uh, our like daily environment, things we really do daily. It is really that Virgo house, so that's why house is found there. Now, having a lunar eclipse there simply means that uh, you will be more concerned or maybe not concerned, but aware about your health. Uh, you might not necessarily obviously have health issues, but somehow you um, um, can really make that uh, decision to get rid of of your old and bad habits uh, which damage your health because this is actually the best time to do that during this lunar eclipse because lunar eclipse is all about ending things and you know to really uh, to really start very fresh and new that's why if you have any addictions and we all have some right uh, like food, you know, whatever, uh, alcohol addictions or, you know, even some things more serious and you really want to be healthier, you should start uh, on J January 12th with doing that, okay? On very same day, there will be very important uh, conjunction between Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn happening in your 12th house. Again, there's actually a common theme uh, uh, going on uh, for you and uh, it will be like whole year theme because uh, 12th house is house of endings, okay? Uh, it is very spiritual and very nebulous house. So during 2020, I see you as someone who will be more sensitive maybe than usual but it's actually good because it's like you know your unconscious mind will open up and you will be able to soak up more energy and at the end of the day you will be able to see things clearly obviously this is this is the process right uh, it's like whole year but uh, i feel that it might start off like uh, you being a bit depressed uh, in January because you know uh, it will be like you will be very much aware uh, of where you are right now in your life and uh, you might feel a little bit like uh, helpless shall we say but uh, I really don't want to scare you because there is really nothing scary but uh, you know uh, if we have this very very fragile energy of uh, Pisces uh, and uh, these two very heavy bites of uh, Saturn and Pluto land in our 12th house uh, things can can definitely uh, start uh, badly shall we say or you know something have to change okay this will be like uh, your feeling like Something have to change and uh, I don't know how to do it, but uh, things are bad enough that I'm able to change it or at least really deeply think about it, okay? 
but don't worry because rest of the year is uh, is in much smoother mode. Uh, it will be again conjunction between Jupiter and Pluto happening in your 12th house and this is really different story. This is actually great uh, if you want to get in touch with uh, abroad or you know with different countries even if you have if you want to have career in different countries this is great on april 4th june 12th and then again uh in november 20th of 2020 uh this is really a great time to do that okay uh now um jupiter is really luck it's planet of luck and uh, we get uh, things easily okay when jupiter is involved we are simply lucky you know and uh, everyone has luck sometimes uh, so having this conjunction in 12th house uh, you can be very successful or start careers that are somehow hidden it's like in fbi in jail in hospital you know my imagination is not wild enough to tell you everything but you know careers uh, in which you are not that visible are very let's say can 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 really fit you very well in 2020 to become very successful there okay maybe you don't have these inclinations because you are aquarius but in case you do you can definitely try because this will work for you okay during 2020 otherwise uh be ready uh, to get more spiritual even if you are not you know you, you are still spiritual in a sense but uh, really you will you can definitely start like yoga practices you know to really contemplate about life about people or dig deeper into occult or spiritual things this can actually work very well for you okay okay guys this was my shortened version of forecast if you are looking for more let's say personalized version because this was still very general for everybody uh, you can check my website horoscopesandreadings.com i can prepare for you any type of horoscope like relationship horoscope personality horoscope child horoscope career and money horoscope and uh, like etc okay whatever you want me to do i also write weekly articles uh, so there is really plenty of free stuff there so you can check it out in case you resonate with my content feel free to really hit the subscribe button and uh, i will be able to shoot more free videos for you bye bye